So I think from now on we include the word urine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. To call them. Yes. And pray that it gets better for them. You ring. You ring yourself. Yes. 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 That's right. You have silver ring. Isn't that good? Yes. yes. Yeah. Very, good. Very good. Very good. Uh, wonderful. Yes. Let's do that. Yes. Because I have seen the history of Ukraine, you know, long, 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 long decades. They always have been invaded by one country after another. Yeah. Mm. Not just Russia. Oh man, how do they survive? I don't know. Wow. So much war all the time. Yes. Most of the time. Yes. And even then they survive and they still thrive. And what did they do? Nothing wrong to anyone. They just do their farming to fit the world. They do nothing wrong. But before, so many countries kept invading them. One after another. Yes. Yes. Poor people, poor countries. Hopefully, the new name will make life better for the Iranian people. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, let's hope so too. Yes. We think it will be better because it's the of the master power. Ah, uh, yeah. Also, this is the universal master power. It's just like initiation. It's not the names that you repeat or the mantra. It is the master who charges it. You know, the master power that charges it with power to uplift people, enlighten people, and, you know, liberate people. Ah, oh. yes. It's just like your check has money or not. Yeah, as I said. Yeah. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. If you don't have any money in the bank, your check looks the same as the other clients, but it won't help anything. That's why not just everyone can give initiation. Not everyone can liberate other souls. It has to be God ordained. Understand, yes, master. master. The mandate of God. And then God transmits the power to the Master, and the Master can use it. All right. Yes, Master, that's good. Actually, every word has power, you know that, right? Yes, yes, yes. that's true. And when you say you love somebody, they feel different. Yes. And when you curse them or something, they feel different. Or when you threaten them, they feel different. Because the words have energy. Yes, yes master. That's, that's true. This next series of photographs of the work of Japanese researcher Mr. Masuru Emoto from his book, The Message from Water. Mr. Emoto's work provides factual evidence the human vibrational energy, thoughts, words, ideas, and music affect the molecular structure of water. Please remember that water comprises over 70% of a mature human body and covers the same amount on our planet. Water is the very source of all life. Mr. Omoto decided to see how thoughts and words affected the formation of untreated distilled water crystals by typing words onto paper and then taping this paper onto glass bottles overnight. This photo shows the effects of the words thank you. This next photo shows the effects of the words love and appreciation. This photo shows the effects of the words you make me sick, I will kill you. And here we can compare the effects of thank you with the you make me sick, I will kill you. Very, very different geometric forms being incurred through the intention. Now this photo is of a very polluted and toxic water from the Fujiwara Dam. Here now is the same water from the Fujiwara Dam after a Buddhist monk had offered a prayer over it. Prayer, that sound coupled with intention, seems to have an extraordinary ability of restoring water to its natural, harmonious, geometric symmetry. That's why many, for example, politicians use words carefully to attract votes. And that's why people go gaga over singers and pop stars, mm. because mm. they speak the words that they like to hear. Yes, yes, yes Master. Yes. They use words to put into lyrics 
and it's just what the people like to hear and it attracts them because the energy is good from their world. Oh, yes, true. Yes, yes, yes master. And even we say in the beginning, what's the world? And the world was with God, and the world was God. And anything that was created was from this world. Nothing was not created from this world. But now you know that world because for me, short of vocabulary, in the old times, they call it the word. It means the sound. The sound that you are hearing every day when you meditate on the Kuan Yin. Yes, yes, yes sir. sir. Yeah, the inner heaven is sounds without any instrument, without music, without anything at all. Because we're from that. At the time of initiation, and from then on, you will hear this music. I mean, the inner heavenly melody, the sound of God. Because the sound is with God, and the sound is God. And now, now you understand that sentence in the Bible, don't you? Yes, yes, yes master, master, we do. Yes. Only the initiates understand that. Only the people who practice this Quaning method, or Nam, or Sat, Shat, or Inner Heavenly Sound, or Kriya, you name it. This all means the word of God. The sound of heaven, the inner melody, the true self, your original substance, your God self. Humans have it. If you have a soul, you have it. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Yes, master. Humans. That's why most main good religions say humans are the crowd of creation. We are the kings and queens of the universe. We are God's children. It's a pity. Most people don't understand this. They know it, but they don't know it by their own experience. Like you do. You know, like the Mishes, the Quaning method or the sound and light method. Understand it. Because this is real. Everyone else just talks about it. Like, you talk about money, but you don't have money. <laughs> but you guys have money in the bank. And you can talk about it or not talk about it. Yes, yes, yes master. master. But sometimes you forget and <laughs> you're tired. You don't remember how much money you have. But you can always look into the bank book and see. Yes. Just like sometimes when you meditate, you're tired and you don't see the light very well. But the light is there. And sometimes you just even wake up from meditation, sleep it or... After you sleep at night, you see the light, yes. <laughs> and it's gone quick from you because you have just been in the light, and now you, you know, wake up to this physical world, and the light seems to be lost at that moment. But you saw the leftover of the light. Even I had some operation before due to the karma of the world, but when I woke up from the uh, anesthesia, I still saw the light. Wow or whatever the vision there. My body may not that be able to move. My eyes couldn't open yet, I couldn't talk yet, but I still saw the light. Yes, yes, yes master. master. That means that during the operation, I was there all the time with the light. Yes, yes, yes master. master. Yes, Master. Now, so why do we talk so long about that, about light and sound? Or was it <laughs> your question? The power of the word. <coughs> yeah, what was it that made me... Oh, because the word, the power of even speaking words. Yes, 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 mm. Master. Every word we speak has color, has shape, has energy. That's why animal people, they don't learn English ever, but they do understand everything you say in English. No. no. Well, my dog person do. That's... A, <laughs> That's the evidence I know. Yeah. And even one of it tried to speak English and telling me, I love you, hello, <laughs> all that. <laughs> I never taught her. It just, I always keep telling them, I love you, I love you every day. And so she, she knows that it's a word. Yes, yes, yes master. master. And I said that to her or to all of the dog persons or to each of them or to some of them, sometimes it depends. Even if I don't touch them or I don't kiss them or hug them, even if I can say that, you know, from a corner of the room, they understand that word because it produces the loving energy, the comfortable, soothing energy to them, and it 
portrays in the universal language something that they know they know what it means. Yes, yes, master. master. And they understood all that I said. Well, I don't talk all day with them, of course. I talk whatever necessary. They have understood everything ever since I adopted them already. It's not like, okay, they've been with me many years, or they understood what I said. It's not like that. They understood immediately. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, oh, I love the animal people so much. And you don't know, I told you about the zoo, wherever I go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't just come for food. They They come because they want to tell me something. They want to attract my attention. They tell me many things, mm, good yeah. or bad, warning or comforting, you know, about things that are soon to come very near. Some of them cannot see far into the future, but near, some near, like the end of the year, for example, or at the beginning of next year, something like that. A couple of years, maybe, but not long. Some can see longer. And even, like, for example, you see all people, I said them already, I didn't think they have anything to say. They were eating, eating for, and still standing there, staring at me <laughs> through the window or something. Oh. <laughs> and then I realized that she he wants to tell me something. And then I listen, of course. Because I'm busy, you know, I, I can't just keep looking at birds, people all the time. I feed them when I feel they are hungry and from love. And I always tell them, this is from God, okay? I only do that. Through God's grace, you have to remember God and thank God. And if you have done anything wrong in a past life or this life, you have to always ask God for forgiveness humbly. And I advise humans, you should do it now already. Please, please, please. If you don't listen to me at all, whatsoever, whatever I say, just forget all of it. But please, just ask God sincerely, humbly. Honestly, ask God to please forgive me. Just ask God to forgive you. Please do that with sincerity, with utmost repentance, with utmost sincerity, utmost humility. Then maybe God forgives you, gives you another chance so you don't have to go to hell. Please, I cannot help you because you don't let me. So please remember that. Ask God to forgive you. God always can forgive, but you have to be truly humble, sincere, honest, and truly, truly repent in your heart.